This task 24 is about equivalent capacitance and it's just a one star uh, task. Uh, maybe I should have also just given it 0 0.5 or so. It's, it's not too complicated. Uh, but it's yeah some some basic stuff that every electrical engineer needs to have done and uh, needs to understand. So we have um, two capacitors. They each have a respective capacitance of one microfarad, and we will now connect them in series and we will connect them in parallel. And the question is, what will be the total capacitance in each case? So let's use blue for task A. How can we calculate um, total capacitance in this case? We have like resistors, so the sum of uh, each capacitor. Ah, wait. Um, yeah, so if we, if we have resistors, uh, let me use a different color for resistors. So if we if we have resistors um, and if we have such a series connection, so two resistors in series, uh, we could say, okay, we have the same current through both resistors and we have, if we call this R1, and R2, we have two voltages, U1 and U2, and we have a total voltage across these two resistors that I will call U. Uh, or I should have called it V. Um, so, okay, V1, V2, and some total voltage V. And so now we could say, okay, our uh, total voltage is the sum of the individual voltages and each individual voltage we can calculate with Ohm's law. So it will be R1 times the current plus R2 times the current. And because it's the same current, uh, we can also write it as R1 plus R2 times the current and we see okay we have voltage is something uh, something times current so this should be the total resistance and then we can see okay the total resistance is r1 plus r2 in the series connection um so what happens if we would do the same thing here for for capacitors. Um, so I have one capacitor, I have a second capacitor, C1, C2, we have the same current, we have a voltage drop, we have a voltage drop, and we have a total voltage drop, V1, V2, and V, and yeah, if we do the same th thing as before, so um, total voltage is voltage 1 plus voltage 2. How, how, how do we continue? Say again? Q over C. Q over C. So, yeah, um, voltage, if we check what we, what we have used before, Voltage is Q over C. So here we could say it's uh, Q over C1 plus Q over C2. And, and it's the same as here. So because it's a series connection, here we have the same current through each element. Here we also have the same current. And remember current is um the time derivative of the charge so if the current is the same then the charge should also be the same and so that's why we have the same charge here and there so we could say okay it's the charge the same charge multiplied with one over c1 
plus 1 over C2 and yeah this would would be the same as uh, once again what we said before voltage is Q over C so we could say okay this should be the same as Q over C total so the total capacitance is 1 over 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 so here we get 1 over 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 so a series connection of capacitances is the same as a parallel connection of resistance and so here we could yeah, also calculate it as discussed last time so if we expand this um, this fraction with C1 and C2 we get C1 multiplied with C2 in the numerator and C1 plus C2 in the denominator and now if we insert 1 microfarad times 1 microfarad divided by 1 microfarad plus 1 microfarad at the end we get half 0 0.5 microfarad because here this will once cancel and 1 divided by 2 is 1 over 2 is 0 0.5 is 1 half okay what questions do you have so far no questions so wh what you um, if you try to compare this with what we have done before so here we have talked about or we have discussed the plate capacitor and we looked at how does the capacitance change if we change the area or if we change the distance and so how does this relate what we did here to what, what we have done here so if we have two capacitors that have each a certain capacitance and if we connect them in series like this we have one distance here between the plates and we have another distance here between the plates and if we connect them in series what happens to the distance it, it increases or in this case we, we, we kind of double the distance and because if we go back to what we have done here if we double the distance we get half of the capacitance <coughs> and this then also somehow makes sense that um, yeah, if you connect capacitances or capacitors in series the total capacitance will decrease will get smaller because you kind of virtually increase the, the distance, the spacing between the plates, uh, which then somehow makes sense. Okay, and so if we connect them in parallel, how can we calculate the total capacitance in this case? We, in this case, we just add them because we would end up with this very same equation as here on top. So it's just the sum of the two and one microfarad plus one microfarad would be two microfarad um, and yeah you could use similar equations like these ones here to um, calculate this formula uh, just that for a parallel connection the total current would be the sum of the individual currents and if you then insert how is current related to voltage and in a parallel connection or uh, yeah you have the same voltage there on a parallel connection we could just say the total charge is the sum of the individual charges and the voltage would be the same and that's why the capacitances add up and if we say okay we have a parallel connection let, let me maybe once again draw a schematic for the parallel connection so we have one capacitor and we have the other capacitor connected in parallel and our formula just told us we need to add capacitances and the total capacitance is larger than the individual capacitances um, 
C1 and C2. Does this make sense if we compare it to what we have done before in this task? If we connect capacitors in parallel, the distance will stay the same between the plates, but the area increases. The area gets larger. And if we go back to this formula here, and if we check, okay, if the area gets larger, capacitance grows larger and increases. Perfectly makes sense. Yeah, and so, okay, if we still have a couple of minutes, um, so if we would say we have here the same voltage drop across the capacitors mm -hmm. and we have some total current that splits up into some individual current I1 and I1 and I2, right? Then we could say, okay, the the total current is the sum of the individual currents and this means that the total charge is also the sum of the individual charges. And in the task before we said, okay, charge is capacitance times voltage. So if we here say, okay, the charge is the capacitance times the voltage plus the second capacitance times the voltage and because it's a parallel circuit it's the same voltage so we get uh, c1 plus c2 times voltage and still charge should be total capacitance times voltage so we can check that the total capacitance Uh, this one here must be the same as this one here um, to make sense. Yeah, and so um, if we do the same stuff for the for for the previous equation um, here, the one over total capacitance must be this one here for for it to fit. And the same is what we had here, right? That the total resistance is the sum of the individual resistances in the series connection. 